really not sure how in the world we keep winding up in these situations. But here we are. We're on the Mid-South Audio Stage today with an opportunity to introduce you to a few very smart students with another Destination Imagination Challenge. Here with us this afternoon, I'm hoping with Sid's help, we're going to at least be able to offer these guys some kind of a challenge. Um, let me make sure that I get this right. Uh, you are the principal for Glen Avenue, Glen Avenue, Avenue and our students here are from Our students are from North, North Salisbury. Salisbury. Give us a real quick intro of who is who. Okay, so this is my daughter, Kate Miller Vale, Bella Thompson, Nick DeValla, Bella Hooper. Ladies, thank you for joining us. Give us a quick overview for those who haven't seen it before about the Destination Imagination Challenge. Okay, it's an international competition. This is uh, the team's third year attempt to go to Globals. They've been hit to Globals twice. Um, they've completed, competed against teams from all over. Uh, China competes. Um, and so it's a problem solving, engineering task, uh, can include task or performance uh, with dramatic involvement. And they're, they give a challenge. There's two different things involved. One is the instant challenge. You have no notification what it's going to be. You walk in, you have to on your feet come up with a solution. The other one, they prepare a drama that they spend all year preparing. Okay. And you guys are getting ready to hold an event called Salisbury's Got Talent. Yes. Correct? Yeah. Tell yeah. us about that. Um, Salisbury's Got Talent is an event um, where it will be um, auditions are due by March 31st. Uh -huh. um, it's video auditions and the event will be held on, on April 27th at 7 o'clock in the JMB um, auditorium. So what is the Salisbury Got Talent? What, what is it we'll see? What, what are, is it like well, singing and dancing? And um, it's it, the talent competition yeah. and mm -hmm. we're looking for the best of the best. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh. And we'll have all those details on DelmarvaLife.com. So, be sure to go there and we'll give you all the email address and the phone number and everything that yes. you need to know to be able to part of that. Mm -hmm. okay. Great. And then, of course, the proceeds are going to go to Destination Imagination. Yes. All yes, right. to try and get them to get to Globals in Missouri in, in May. In okay. May. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So, good luck. Good Thank luck. You. It's going to be a trophy like this one that you guys are trying for. So, what is our challenge here? Okay, so in this case, um, you create a vehicle mm -hmm. that must, uh, you get points to score based on the distance a vehicle will travel, and it has ping pong balls, so your ping pong balls, if they travel in the vehicle the full, full distance, you get points for each ping pong ball that makes it. Right. So within about two minutes, you have to create a vehicle that will travel as far as you can possibly propel it using your own air. So the ping pong balls are the passengers. Yes. Okay. They, they can't be taped in. Correct. And we only have two and a half minutes. That's what we finally talked to our producer into. Two and a half okay. minutes to create a vehicle propelled only by air. Your own air. And it, you can't go past a certain line. Okay. okay. We're going to put up a two, two minute, 30 second clock. And we're going to, do you have some ideas? I guess so. I hope so. We're going to go. All right, you guys right, help go. us count down. So, All right, we, so if we're putting things. What if, if we fold the, this? Right, the and then right. we can so put the wheels on the bottom. Okay, so we need so a frame. That it's like All right, the frame like this. The so that I like that. I like that. Very, yeah. very, All right. Oh, okay. I'll make a sphere because it's so measured wheels, by the tip. Maybe the yeah. caps? No? They can't well, if you use those for the seats for our passengers. Oh, right, 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 right. Well, give me a toothpick. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna yeah. try something here. Go ahead. We're, we're gonna make a little bit of a frame, and we still have to have a sail too to make this thing go by mm -hmm. air, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do this and see if I can get. That's a good idea. Do 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 both ping pong balls have to be both? We have to have oh. two passengers. No, but you gain more points if you have two passengers. Oh. oh okay. Well, when you put it that way. You figuring it out? You got right, it. In? There's there's the start of the frame. All right. You want to do the second well, one? We're running out of time. I here. know we are. This is not good. All right. So here, tell me what you think of this. If we use the mailing labels to tape the seats onto the frame okay. to put the ping pong balls in, we've yep. only got a minute and a half left. Yep. Then we've got to figure out really how we're going sticky. to attach that's okay. the sail so that it can be. You know what it kind of looks like? It kind of looks like we can attach this, the sail almost? with like some more tape, maybe. We've got yeah. paper, but like an airplane. So where you said you want to do the seats? Yeah, you think we can do that? Yeah, yeah we Since can. We get but this isn't very distance, sticky. We should make a I'm not uh -oh. gonna lie. The can go on well, the top. you know what? Like You're pretty darn brilliant with this stuff. I know you'll figure out a way to do it. How about that? So All right. Cool. We've only got 60 it. seconds left, Sid. Only 60 yeah, seconds left. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Okay. 60 seconds. Putting this on there. Sid, we're not going to have anything put together. Look, they're going to have an entire limousine over there. We can do it. We can? Maybe. All right, I'm going to go with you. I'm trying to be positive. Yes, I'm positive this ain't going to work. <laughs> mm. 
right? This was a good idea. I liked what you did here. We need to put that not sticking. Not sticking. We need to put it's, it's okay. okay. So if this was really tape, that would be amazing. That would work. Ping pong balls on top. All right, so let's do this. Let's try this. I need you to hold. Here, I'm going to put this rubber band around the paper, the toothpick on the straws. But I need you to hold it steady so that I don't do something wrong here. Freak out. Okay. All right. So there's that. 15 seconds. We only got 15 seconds left. Well, we can put one ping pong ball. 15 seconds. We can definitely do one ping pong ball. All right. So yeah. And then we're done. Three, two, one. I think we're good. Oh. Oh, the paper. That would have been so good to use. Y'all are so smart. <laughs> okay, so let's explain what you all yeah, did. Yeah, show, show us what you did there. We took the paper and we decided to make like a tunnel kind of to represent a sail on a sailboat. So and it would blow so better. It would catch air and blow. And then we tried on the bottom, we tried adding these. And so that the friction would lessen. Yeah, so there would be less friction. And then at the end, you get points, and they measure to the tip. So, so we made it longer right here. Mm. So um, and the end it will be longer. we put the ping, balls, uh, ping pong balls inside rubber bands so that they won't roll so around. So they stay in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Smart. Those are some great ideas, guys. Thank you. Would you like so. for me to explain this one to you? Yeah. Because <laughs> yes. I'm not, yeah, not going <laughs> <laughs> to. Yeah, we. Uh, Use the friction of the straws and the buoyancy and the, of the toothpicks and to the presence of the rubber band because you know, it seems to add so much simply to the. Uh, we're going to try these here in just a moment uh, and see how far they go.